Hi guys, so I didn't make a video yesterday, mostly because we were still working with some of the different strategies that we learned. However, we're gonna kind of cram it all into one. Um, also, a couple of parents have messaged me about um, 40 book. And I know 40 book is really challenging at the beginning of the year because the kids still aren't great writers and aren't great at expressing their thoughts on what they're reading and writing. And normally by now, they've kind of gotten the hang of it because every week they would turn in their 40 book to me and I would write comments and make recommendations as to what are some of the good things that they're doing and what are some things that they need to change. Um, obviously, because we haven't been in school, I haven't been able to do that. So you're kind of on your own. If your child is having a hard time coming up with things to write or just a hard time in general working in 40 book, I'm going to make another video. Um probably tomorrow with some different tips and tricks that I would use when I'm giving feedback um, just to help you kind of understand what I'm looking for in 40 book. I'm not looking for the most amazing writer. I really just want them writing about what they're reading. And then I can make the tweaks in our feedback that we go back and forth when I'm writing comments and then they're writing on their own. I can, I can tweak things once we're into that routine, but I'll make another video explaining that later today. I want to show you a couple of things that we did with math, specifically with addition strategies. So let's pretend I had this problem, 47 plus 52. Um, why I have broken this really far down? I do not expect your child to do this strategy ever in real life, honestly. However, I need them to understand what these numbers mean. So I always start here for a couple of days, and then we work up to what you know is the standard algorithm. So for right now, I'm going to make a, what do we call it? I think we call it a 100 chart or maybe a base. I don't remember what I called it. Anyway, looks like this. So now I'm going to fill in my numbers. I have no... There we go. I have no hundreds, but I have four tens. Tens, when we use the base 10 pieces, look like little skinny sticks. So I'm going to represent my four tens found in 47 by four sticks. Ones, I have seven ones. When we use base 10 pieces, they look like little mini cubes, if you will. I call them bits. I'm going to go ahead and draw out seven ones. So I've made 47 in base 10 pieces, drawings. My next number, 52. I have five tens, so I'm going to draw five of my sticks. And then two ones. And then I have them do their little equals bar. So this does somewhat rep or follow the same process of the standard algorithm that we're used to using. Two ones plus my seven ones is nine ones. One, two, three, four tens plus five tens is nine tens. My sum is 99. So if you see us drawing pictures, we're using just base 10 models to represent um, the different numbers. We were doing this yesterday, and then today we moved from the picture version to a more numerical version of the same process. I'm going to use the same equation, but I'm going to show you how we added today using expanded form. All right. So expanded form of a number is basically when you break a number into the place value um, or the place values, if you will. So 47 is broken into 40, the four tens, and seven, seven ones. Now you'll notice this starts to look more like the standard algorithm. The end goal is that students are using the standard algorithm, but a lot of times when we start regrouping and start having to borrow, as a lot of us were taught, they don't understand where these numbers are coming from. So for me, it's easier to teach everybody with an expanded or a picture version first so they understand when I am carrying a one, what that actually means and what that looks like. So expanded notation is really just looking on the inside of that number. Same concept, seven ones plus two ones is still gonna give me nine. 40 plus 50 is gonna give me 90. 
90 plus 9, 99. Now, this is a very simple one, but it, I'm going to do another problem in a second where you would have to um, carry, or as I've been saying, make a trade. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. 